you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Ravens and the Dolphins. And it comes your way next. Playoff fever has immersed South Florida as we are at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game. And we've got a great one in store as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Miami Dolphins. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Entering, get your guys healed up a little bit speed. and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. For a berth in the AFC Championship game, off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. A number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. And the quality of opponent goes up a notch here in this divisional round. But he's coming off such a sensational performance, I'm not sure he cares. Four touchdown off, passes in the last game. And you'd have to imagine his head coach would sign up for that right now. Jackson, first play, going to throw. Yeah, quick throw there is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage Entering right there. There weren't off, really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, categories. he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second and ten. Jackson. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? Number four quarters. Up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Seam flat, seam flat. Jackson, option right. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. And now, meanwhile, after the dust settles on the fumble, we've got an injured player Entering here as well. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Player, Aaron, Jonathan Taylor, Ter Jonathan Taylor, Jonathan Taylor, AHD smash. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A give for Taylor running right side. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife him to the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Here's second and ten. Now a play fake. Here's Tongue of Iloa. Open man is Higgins. 
Oh, and he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Tua going to throw. And that one complete once again to Higgins. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. Charles, it's early, but that's a key third down conversion. Remember, they forced the turnover on the opening drive. Now they're in a position where they look like they'll at least get three out of this. A great example of complimentary football. They're able to cash this in, isn't it, partner? Because defense does its job, takes it away, turns over the offense. They just pick up a nice first down there. Maybe it's time to think about taking a shot at the end zone because it looks like the field goal is almost assured. First and 10, Taylor now. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. He stayed afloat for a second there after the first wave of contact, but it, he, that was going nowhere. Yeah, what did he tell us in pregame? I just don't want to get my feet stopped initially when I'm trying to make a run. That's exactly what happened there. Unfortunately, as you noted, Got away a little bit from the first one, but the wave swarmed him under. Play action, now it's Tua. Throwing for the yellow round, he finds Wilson. Well, he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, and it's good for a first down as well. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've Entering seen many teams march it right to the goal line concept, and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Run. Inside, 24 zone, PHP zone, WK. And perhaps now close to the first points of this divisional round game as it's first and goal. Help. They'll run here with Taylor. And he gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the great move out of the bag, but couldn't do a ton with it. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Jonathan Taylor, a touchdown machine. He's going to get plenty of looks down here near the goal line. So if I'm on defense, I might start getting prepared to see his number call a couple of more times. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Here's Taylor again. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. Calling a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Taylor forcing his way into the end zone. He was not to be denied. It's a touchdown. What was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they ended with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal 
They've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Touchdown. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And for them, maybe a little carryover from last week's game. They got the win on the road in the wild card round. On the road again, here again in the divisional round, but they're hanging tough. Hey, cute little selection. music, right? A little bit on the road again. I mean, this has been kind of the mantra they're under right now. And they can't change it. The season dictated. What would happen with them, right? They had to go on the road for the first round for the playoff. They're on the road again. And sometimes teams get really comfortable with that. Not only the idea of going on the road and shocking the world, but just, hey, it's just us. We don't have to worry about outside distractions. It's just us. Let's go play. It becomes that us against the world mentality, Andrew doesn't it? And while it may be overplayed, you know, in the media, it's real when it comes time to play ball. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Now it's Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mike Andrews, the tight end. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as they get ball. this up past the 35-yard line. The and there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. An excellent run of 22 yards on the keeper and also a first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 42-yard line. Again, Jackson will keep it. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. A nice stick and stop for a loss here from Jalen Phillips. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable, but that time the defense was on to it. And partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Jackson now. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up a third down. Simple track left here. Lined up back left to try to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because... I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, the defender was right on him. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Throwing is Jackson. And the 40 open man. That's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. He had six catches in the wild card win, and that's his first one here in the divisional round, and it's a first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the Andrew right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. 
What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Jackson on first down. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot. Does a lot of corners see their job? as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. And Jackson throwing once more. Targeting Dobbins again, and he's got it again. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down Entering at the seven-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. From the gun, it's Jackson. Uh, quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Here's Jackson. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Entering play call. Special teams, you have six options. Return left, lead is selected. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. So Miami coming out for their second drive. So both Entering of these teams, play Charles, play coming on touchdowns Carolina now. But this offense, Carolina they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive option. drive to reach the end zone. Run. Yeah, and I think you're Inside not telling zone. yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And when you get into the divisional round of the playoffs, this is where having the ability to run the football is such an advantage. The defenses, they're generally going to be tougher the further you go along. So if you can get something established up front, it's going to give you a great chance to move on. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Now this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. So eight yards on the completion there. And they'll be left with second and a couple. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Oh. 
On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second to his prime time for a little ball. bit of a gamble as he opened up the playbook. Go play action, toss that bad boy deep. Concept. But in this situation, go and give it to your back. Let it pick pass. up a first Keep down. Pass. Keep the sticks Green moving. Pass. Choice, Air Dolphin, East Pot, Southeast Corner. All right, come on. First down, Tonga Bailoa. And going deep for Hill. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, Entering we're going to try and match or do better. Concept. We've already seen one Concept. touchdown Concept. pass Concept. from Concept. the opposition. They Option. tried to equal it on that throw. Run. Screen pass. Play action. Keep pass. Flood. There are 10 categories. You have 14 now a options. Second and two. KX first cross is selected. Play action. Here's Tua. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Patrick Queen just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. And this is caught. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Entering play call, Jalen Waddell, you have 43 options, pot, player, formation, error, I form, blur, podgy red, stutter goes. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Taylor touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. And Baltimore's offense set for this Entering next possession. Ball, this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On 
any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I know Coach told me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Another run here with Dobbins. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink. If you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. To throw is Jackson. That's caught. It's Flowers. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll get an update when Entering we come back take all to Miami. Medium pass. You have 42 options. Cover one holes. Cover cover one rock camp you. So now entering for instant go option coaching pop medical center is selected entering in player name Kalem player name Yogb position left injury height bruised shoulder injury length will return soon injury length one week injury length four weeks injury height broken hand Position T. Player name D. Smythe. Ravens selected. Player name K. Hamilton. Player name Oi. Position Lold. Injury height dislocated shoulder. Injury length out for game. Injury length two weeks. Injury length TBG. Injury length placed on her. Injury height complete ACL tier. Position LG. Player name A. Norhees. Player name T. Linderbaum. Position C. Injury height dislocated elbow. Injury length TBG. You entering yeah, franchise as they've crossed into Miami options. territory at the 39 yard line. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. Jalen Phillips, the edge man on the tackle. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. Entering a pretty decent game. Hall, defend medium pass. You have 42 options. Cover one hole is selected. From the 34-yard line, here's second and five. Here's Jackson to throw. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. And now after that sack, we'll pause here a moment because someone was shaken up on that play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Entering play call, defend medium pass, you have 42, cover one Keith, cover six showed you. What do they have for this, third and 11. To throw Huntley. Oh, his first throw in his playoff matchup is intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to have the football here at their own 45-yard line. Parker, I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Miami set to take over. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told Entering us all week off. that this was I the formed. plan and this is what Same they game. wanted to I execute. Formed. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, 
And afterwards, they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. You entering up with presume in call shell stats coaching. Pop-up menu, you have five options. Medical center is selected. Entering injury report screen. Eight. Player name Kalem. Player name Miagba. Ravens selected. Player name K Hamilton. Player name Moy. Player name. Player name Tealinder Bat. Player name L Jackson. Position QG. Injury height fractured kneecap. Injury length out for season. Injury length placed on error. Injury length out for season. Injury height fractured kneecap. Position QG. Player name L Jackson. Entering franchise screen, you have eight options. Coaching is selected. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. No gain on the play there. Second down. All runners count on their eyes to find Entering the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Total cap. swallowed up on that play. Concept error. Player, there are nine. Jonathan Taylor, Tyreek Hill, Ella, Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Jets, Pabu Corner Coast. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Throwing now is Chungavailoa. That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. So back to back plays each get nothing. And that brings up third and a full 10 ball, yards. Jackson, As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. You're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Gets this one to Hill. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Well, that's good for a first down. He's a guy who went over 1,000 yards receiving in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch in the playoffs. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Inside, 24 zone open. Hill gonna go in motion right. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give to Taylor. And down he goes at the 49, a three yard pickup. Entering play give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and the they gave up no cutback angle. Set. You know he's trying to dart pass. through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard game. Ten categories. You have four We're just shy options. of midfield. Five Here's second down and seven. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. Taken down with the first down at the Ravens 36. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one a first down. Uh, there are ten categories. Concept, formation, error, I form. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. Entering play call. As they've got Dry it with flood. a first and ten. <laughs> Off a of play action. Tongue of Iloa. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they get this one to about the 20-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And a good quarterback 
facing zone coverage if he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene that's what's going to happen no doubt about it if there's no pressure he's going to continue and to pick them apart ball, because he'll have ball. all that there time to find someone formation. open downfield you can only cover teams. for so long so maybe they I want form. to go to a zone blitz scheme Lose. get a little bit Audrey more pressure Stutter remember when goes. carolina did that against denver they lost the game ultimately they dropped the defensive end out and he ended up with an interception in that game in super bowl 50 Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Running straight ahead, Taylor shifts by him. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Jonathan Taylor has led a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Dolphins have taken a two touchdown lead now. Kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. Categories, defend medium, pass is selected. commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is, possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And it pushes right forward to about the 32. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. Well, I don't think it's they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain, considering the blitz that they just had against them. Here's third and three. Alert! Alert! And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. First suggestions. There are, there are seven categories. Defend medium, pass is selected. Defend medium, cover four quarters. Facing four down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. It'll be a 41-yard punt, give him five on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. 
Here comes Jonathan Taylor and his teammates. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Entering franchise screen, you have not. Entering play call, Pocky Thread. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Entering play call, DBL outs. Stutter goes, DBL, AHD stretch. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 26. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Player, there are nine cat formation, concept, medium pass, quick pass, medium pass, short, tough, this spot, southeast corner. Now a second and six. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he did and not reel it in. Choice. Oh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to come or what, but that's a ball Southeast he'd love corner. to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. They're going deep for Hill. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought Andrew process there, Paul. catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. Back deep is a very dangerous Mike Hughes. Fielded just inside the 30. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And Charles, a very Andrew uninspired Clay effort Paul, the last time we Glenn, saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Baltimore go. with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Ready. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And space tough to come by there as they'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the pass on third down. And you know what offense is want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. They work now on second and nine. He'll keep it himself. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Nice pickup. Ten yards and a first down on the keeper. I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. 
Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still, a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Check, check. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and six. Off the option, he'll try and run with it. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper. And a first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought it down. But a nice little game. 46 yards rushing for him now to this point. And that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Hundley looks to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Fair to say, it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They gotta find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Holly looks to throw again on second and ten. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing you're hoping for when you're in drive routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and they can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Here's Huntley. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Huntley. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have got it back to within a score. What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare for the defense. No matter Entering who they put on him, call, he's going to win the battle. There are seven categories. Now Tucker to add the PAT. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. 
And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Here comes Jonathan Taylor and his teammates. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. Play call How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, pass, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Play action. Now it's Tua. And his throw here is incomplete. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Jalen Waddell. Jalen Waddell. Auction is at to. Auction is auction is at to. Auction is at to. Player, two taco Velo. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Entering play call. Y sale. Pa X burst cross. Drive flood. Switch. Portland. Pa Y cross. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. Good start throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Entering play call, Jalen Waddle. Player, there are two Taco Velo, Jalen, Jonathan Taylor, Tyreek Hill, Tyreek, Jet Sweep, Hunger Corner, Post. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49 yard line. Looking to pass, Tua. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain Andrew possession Clay there, and it's Tyler second down. Clear. I have a few questions about that throw, because to me, there just wasn't a lot there. I thought he tried to do a little bit too much, almost tried to will the receiver open when there was no chance he was going to be. Nice job by the linebacker being all over that one and knocking it away. Back to the air on second down, tongue of Iloa. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Entering play call, three. Enter, option, quick, in, call, challenge, super, stats, coaching. Pop up, medical center is selected. Entering, injury report. Player name Jay Waddle. Player name Kalem. Player name Injury type abdominal tear. Injury length TBG. You have entering franchise screen. You have potty flood. Coach suggests crossers. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Two and a throw again. Able to find the open there. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 32-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. That was pretty. They executed that corner route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. 
Up the middle, here's Taylor. They juked him. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Well, now, after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Entering play call. Go. Entering off quick res in call challenge super stats coaching. Pop up medical center is selected. Entering injury player name Killam. Player name T Hill. Position W injury type chest. P player name T Hill. Player name Killam. Player name J Waddle. Player name D Smythe. Entering franchise. Entering play call. Spacing. On plan. There are nine. Player. There are nine category. Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan. AHD smash. Go ahead. Line of scrimmage. The 15. It's first and 10. Again, it's Taylor. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. It certainly appears he's trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field, but his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to it. There are nine category player. There are nine. Jalen Waddle. Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan AHB smash. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. To the right side, this is Taylor. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Jonathan Taylor on his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And they're able to add on to their and that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does it? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. Entering play call. So that was a play call that spans 75 yards. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Touchdown. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Entering and now Baltimore call. gets Again, set to take the field. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still got the time left to make something happen in this one. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard game. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying Entering themselves. Call, they were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, really and start to put together some drives. Good. 
A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Entering that felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. Then everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Let's go now. Second and nine. Check, 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 check. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins 44. 59 yards rushing for him now as he has been strong here in the first half of this divisional round matchup. The Ravens on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Entering How about that ball, there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Edwards now on first and 10. Down to about the 32. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Okay, ready? Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. No, no, alert. Huntley working from the gun. That ball's caught. Down on the right side. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, here's Edwards. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. And a good fall stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Entering play call, coach suggestions, there are seven categories. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time, the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Able to locate Andrews here on the out route. So the completion good for six yards. And it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This second and four. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. That solid gainer will put them on the doorstep of the end zone. More importantly, it gives them a fresh set of downs. Nice work right there. Here we go. 
First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Dobbins. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. A stoppage here for an injury, and not what you want to see. J.K. Dobbins in a little bit of pain after that last play. Entering play call. We'll get an Coach update when we come back there are to Miami. Categories. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Hardly to throw. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Justice Hill, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have cut it back within a score. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Entering Today is track ball. shoes. <laughs> That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's categories. been an absolute track meet so far and fun to watch. Tucker now for the extra point. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Entering and that last touchdown player, drive they had very balanced. How key is that Jaylen balance? Waddell. It's huge because most Jaylen of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most Carolina. of the times when you talk to Coach offensive suggest, coaches, they Houston, say balance is we do what we want DBLs. when we want to. <laughs> and that means that they're ahead of the Carolina. defense, Carolina. keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that Carolina. last drive. Recent, there are nine caddies slots in. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and ten at their 25 yard line. Delay of game, offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still first down. Entering play call, recent. There are nine cat favorites. There are puck rushers, 24 zone, puck rushers, 24 zone, oh, puck rushers. 24 zone, puck rushers. Option is set, 24 zone. Personnel, there are nine cat, one RB bar. Play type, there are option. Run, pass, quick, stick, stick spacing. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Out. Now Tua. This pass complete to Higgins. Entering play ball with pass, barrel six, stick, goal line fade. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. Finding space at the 40. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. But just a simple tap pass, but it, it pays off in a big way. And sometimes a simple stop causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. Two and now on first down. They're going deep for Hill. And he knocks. 
kicks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was Entering there and launched the a deep ball. Concept. He was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't Option. create space, Run. couldn't uncover Screen. the end of the Reaction. round, and that one winds up incomplete. Flood. There are 10 categories. You have 14 After options. the incomplete pass here now is second, second and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Open man is Higgins. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Entering five yards. Ball. Now it's Flood. third and five. Ten it's not horrible about Red the game Flood. there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Coach suggestion. Recent. Why stick? Putty flood. Why stick? Zone WK. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, here's Taylor. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there. Fourth and three. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. Punt, suggestions. Pick punt, ex punt. Punt land. There are player. There are nine. Formation. There are concept. Medium. Quick path. Option. Run. Screen. Play act. Keep pass. Flood. There are 10 categories. You have four. The offense options. is not Pikes leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Going to look deep for Wilson. And that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. Offense. Well, they got Entering the ball already. Ball. They're not going to risk suggestions. the yardage and running another fourth down. Categories. They declined. And what was that they taught you in law Number school? The possession is nine-tenths of the law? I didn't go to law school. Oh, you didn't? I thought you did. Well, I figure I'm going to put. I'm going to give that to you anyway. Possession is nine tenths of the law, and it's nine tenths of this game too. Having the football counts. You're so litigious. <laughs> Throwing on first and ten, Huntley. And he can't get Andrew rid of it. He's taken down. Suggestions. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. And the pass rush will be equally hey, intense hey, here on second down yes, following the sack. Yes, it's second yes, and 18 yes, to throw Huntley. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight. So they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there. But it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Go. Looking to throw here, Huntley. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to block of those receivers on third down. That is a beautiful call. Don't you know it's just one toward the bench. Not too close, mind you. And live to pump the football. And likely time for one final play here in the half. So they will go for it on fourth down. A final shot before break. Huntley. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. This fourth and final matchup on this Divisional Round weekend. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. We'll get started out at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, where it was the Chiefs who were able to come away with the home victory. Patrick Mahomes, 
another strong performance as his guys claim victory number 13 on the year. We saw former rushing champ Jonathan Taylor be a big time factor in that first half. He's found the end zone four times on the ground already as he's putting together the kind of performance you dream about Entering as a running back. Final adjustments are underway in the locker rooms. Which of these two teams Run will survive outside. and advance to the short. next weekend's Throw AFC Championship game? To find out, we go back to Brandon Defend and Charles. Outside. Run. Defend short pass. Okay, Entering Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Winner go home, that's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they're in a position they expect to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Look to run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But they run it more effectively, it may get even bigger plays in the passing game. Now the pressure gets there, and two is going to be taken down. Patrick Queen able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Entering I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, and talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. Sack like that, maybe that can get him going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said. And they got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position to find a way to win the game. Cedric Wilson, shot save. Delay of game, offense. Well, the offense knew what they were entering. Uh, Called go option coaching. Pop up medical center is selected. Enter player name Jay Waddle. Position W. Injury type abdominal tear. Injury length TBG. Injury length one week. Injury type abdominal. Position RT. Player name KLM. Player name J Waddle. Player name D Smythe. You entering Walk franchise back, screen. You have seven accepted. options. Coaching is selected. Still second down. Enter. Concept. Play action pass. Keep pass. Formation. Player, there are Elijah Hidden, Tyreek Hill, Jonathan Taylor, Jalen Waddell, Tutago Velo, Alec Ingold, Cedric Wilson Jr. Cedric Wilson, shot save clock. Corner outed. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, Andrew thanks to a great ball. defensive Shot effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, Shot and they get block. off the field. Corner outed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Tua. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. It's fielded at the 45. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50. First and 10. 
The Ravens offense Entering getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. Categories. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because come on, come on. everyone hey. has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. In motion left, Flowers. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. Oh, that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge, and that little touch pass is going to turn into a loss. And this defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. Third down, here's Huntley now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this Entering play, play, he Paul finds it for the first down. There are seven categories. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Huntley. Now, quick throw there is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying Entering to make second down, second and short. Harrison I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Black, black. On hey, hey. They'll run the toss right here. Edwards. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to throw from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. They go play action with Huntley. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little bit more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal drive. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, a field goal is going to be enough because, as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, just kicking a field goal actually should put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Dolphins offense returning to the field. These guys definitely Entering hoping for a better ball, showing than their clear. last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better 
more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. They'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they have everything bottled up. Looks to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Elijah Higgins, Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill, Jet Sweep, Pondu Corner, Post. From the 24 now, here's second down at seven. Tua sets up to pass it. Out to the right here to Wilson. That one, a first down pick up of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the program. But only so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Plan, error nine. Coach suggestions. Receipt, error nine. Favorites, error. Puck crossers, 24 zone. Puck crossers. Recent, there are nine favorites, there are puck crossers. 24 zone open. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Entering play call, coach suggestion, on plan, there are nine player there are Elijah Higgins formation there are not I form close Paji stutter goes on the handoff Taylor and he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard well, sometimes Andrew you just have to give credit ball. to the defense. A great job there at the point of attack, Medium holding pass. up. They Good won pass. their battles at the line of scrimmage, Medium left pass. him no space Choice. to try and run. Dolphins really nice job cut. swarming to the ball carrier. Now second and nine. Two are going to throw. Open man downfield as well. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 66 yards. As his guys are able to extend their lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post -grab? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Oh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? There are nine categories in Sanders all up for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyree Kill. now to kick it away after the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Ravens offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long Andrew field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better categories. and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? 
Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Running lanes read a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Okay, break! On first and ten, Huntley. A short throw caught by Andrews. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what his own defense is count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second and four. Now an option play, and he'll keep it. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up the third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Hundley looks to throw. That is caught. And he will have the Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to Entering speak. Entering play call, coach suggestions. There are seven categories. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. And they run with Edwards off the option. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And there's all of that with a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Here we go. Second down and six now. Again, it's Edwards. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. And we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Throw caught by Flowers. And he will have a Ravens first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Entering play call. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. Huntley off of play action. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because... They've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in here trouble. We go, here we go. Now a second and two. Ready. Now Huntley. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Emmanuel Agba. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need 
This will lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That old line, they got to protect him. Entering play call. Coach suggestions. There are seven categories. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Huntley. They're looking deep here for Flowers. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swap that one away. send their punter out now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. Now we get Tyreek Hill and the rest of the Miami offense back out there. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. First and 10, Taylor now. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what the offense is going to do before the ball is even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Jets. Pogger corner. Post. Second down and eight. Looking to pass to him. Got his man complete over the middle. That's him. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And now it's third and three. When you decide to run a hitch right, it really helps out a guy who can turn and lose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Player, error, Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor, AHB smash. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. Fighting through. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when Entering we come back football, to Hard Rock Jonathan Stadium. Taylor, you have 88 options. Entering for option. Quit. Resume. Ins. Call. Shall. Super. Stat. Coaching. Pop. Medical Center is selected. Entering. In. Player name. Kalem. Player name. C. Williams. Position. C. Injury. High. Pankle. Injury. Length. T. B. G. Injury. Length. One week. Injury. Length. T. B. G. Injury. Length. Four weeks. Injury in position WR player name Jay Waddle. Entering options coaching stats coaching pop up me medical center depth chart is selected. And slot U slot one player name Tiago Velo AHB select slot U player name Heakin player name Jay Taylor. Entering play call, Jonathan Taylor. Option is set. Option is set. Player, there. Jalen Waddell. Tyreek Hill. Elijah Higgins. Cedric Wilson Jr. Alec Ingold. Alec Ingold. FB Dive. And what is this? They're lining up here to punt on first down. 
Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout Andrew by the Clay offense. Paul, and that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining Michigan still selected. in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to Anthony haunt them. We'll be back. Player, there are formation. There are not. I form Y off HP. Pa X keep out. HP ISO. So first and 10 now from the 30. H.A. now up the middle. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Entering play, double dig. Formation, single back. Concept, option, run, screen, play, act, keep pass. Flood, there are 10 categories. You have From the 33, options. here's a Pot second and seven. Is selected. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. A Miami first down on a 14-yard pickup. A Hall of Fame coach once said there are no medals for trying. And that wasn't a trying effort, was it? That was a winning effort. How about that great catch? Excellent. They know, hey, you lose this game, you get a ding or two. You got seven Entering months to heal. They're going to go all out. There are 10 categories. You have 14 options. High experts cross is selected. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. On play action, here's Tua. He finds his man complete. It's Higgins. And he's got this down to the 35. The catch and run good for 18 and a first down. Now we get into the psychology of the whole and thing because a lot of teams with a two score lead in the third quarter, quarters, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing them. not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Drive flood. Concept. There are nine caddy play action cap keep cap media with option run inside power. 26 to HD base. Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. Entering play clock 26 HD base. They give to Taylor out of the gun. Able to slither by. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense can look tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Inside 24 zone, AHP zone WK. Ball on the 27. Here's second and three. A give up the middle to Aichi. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. There are 10 categories. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Off a of play action, Tonga by Lola. And he 
He's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Patrick Queen getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third. And during franchise screen, you have eight options. Coaching is selected. Option. Quit game. Resume. Instant. Shall. Super Sim is. Stats. Coaching. Pop up. Medical center is selected. Entering. Player name Kalem. Player name C. Williams. Position. Injury type high ankle screen. Injury length out for game. Injury length one week. Injury length TBG. Entering friend. Entering play call. The sack. Coach now suggestions. It's there are nine categories. Individual you have 15 on options. Field so goal 51 down, yards. Tua so departs and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal yard. unit. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. The kick by Sanders is good. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side in you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting a big part of the game. Well, he got it in and got it done. all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. The offense for the Andrew Ravens Blake returns Hall. to the field. Suggestions. And they had a long drive going categories. last time, but it stalled out. But still, maybe something positive to carry forward from that last drive. Well, a few different things that you carry forward. Number one, as you noted, they were moving it pretty well, so that gives them a lot of confidence. The second part is keep your defense off the field. Mm -hmm. Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit. And last but not least, You've taken a good look at what you've done on offense, noted where the weaknesses are, and you know when you want to come back to them. Like when you're organized with your points. Well, like all a, B, and C. Seven categories. From the 43, here's a second and nine. Huntley to throw. Over the middle to back him. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. Entering play call. It's Coach the Ravens with possession of football, but trailing categories. on the big board as we get set for the fourth. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Entering play call. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, it'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. Javon Holland coming up to make the stop. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting Andrew running Blake back Hall, finishes the game without just a five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Got ready. Now second and five. Looking to throw. Huntley. It's caught. Back up. He'll be hit down at the 33. Five yards on the play. And you got the big lead ball. defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? Carries. And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. On the check. 
Here's third and a few inches. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 46 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. On first and 10. Huntley. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted Injury by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things categories. moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Let's go now. Now a second and ten. Huntley working from the gun. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A good pickup there, 26 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they got to press the ball downfield as far as possible, Andrew try and throw it into ball, the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Edwards will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Entering play call, coach suggestions, there are seven categories. Tucker now to add the point after. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. Teams, and it was polished off options, by the Gus Edwards left, touchdown left, run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins about set to go to work on offense. And this one not officially in the bag, but it's looking more and more like you and I are going to be in these same seats Andrew next week Paul, for a game to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, and it's contrary to our meeting with, with the visitors, wasn't it? Remember when we went over to their hotel before the game, and one of the themes that kept hitting us with was, let's put the pressure on the number one seed and see if they can handle it. Let's, let's do that. Well, they're the number one seed for a reason. Best team all year long. They're showing it again in this game. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. To his throw, caught by Higgins. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Entering play call, flood, barrel, 10, cap, concept, barrel, formation, barrel, I form, strong, I form, blow, punchy, stutter, goes. The offense on third down, they're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. Here it's third and three. Go, 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 go. 
They'll run for it with a chain. A beautiful. There he goes, right side. He may go. up to 14. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it was finished off with a touchdown run from Devon H.A. Entering play call. Special teams. You have six options. Kickoff keep left is selected. Touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Ravens ready to take over. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round. And they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Entering play ball, coach suggestions. There are seven categories. From the 22 now, here's the second down and nine. To throw Huntley. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Entering play call. Coach suggestions. There are seven categories. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Looking to throw here, Huntley. A rifle swing, that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. That return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Dolphins offense returning to the field. And now first downs are key. They want to keep Entering that clock moving clock. up I by formed. two scores Sing. as I they formed. try to cement their place Close. in the conference Hockey championship round goes. in one week's time. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. handoff it's a chain and just no chance of turning the corner he can only get back to the line of scrimmage second Entering and ten coming ball, up please. 
Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. HP ISO. Power O. Formation. Single pack. Special teams. I form. Look. A. Pondu flow. 95 Mike. Here's second and 10. And they're out of timeouts, remember, so this is going to have to be a delay. Delay of game. Offense. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still second down. Entering play call. Flows. HP ISO. Pabu flow. 95 Mike. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. A chain here, they stay on the ground. Room here to run. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 95 yards rushing for him now in the ball game as he is trying to wheel his guys to the championship round next weekend. And that's a great run, and this is where you've got a running back who feels like he needs to take over this football game. You're in the second half, you've got the lead, you're looking at moving on to the conference championship, and he's got to be saying, just keep giving Andrew me the ball, ball, and I'll get us home. 95, Mike. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. It's A-Chain on the give. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. In on the stop, the Entering former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Well, we talk about defenders, concept, specifically linebackers, like keeping their pass, eyes in the right pass, spot. He had that pass, eye down the entire pass, time. Run. And you know that's not easily Inside done because they throw a lot of power. misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Entering play call, power, error 9, 26, PHP base. Here is third down and four. the middle here's Taylor and oh he's just gonna be short here barely maybe by a half a foot it'll be fourth and inches entering play call coach on plan there player there are nine formation go line gun Pistol, weak, strong, high form, blue, punchy red, stutter goes. Mike McDaniel dialing up the risk here a little bit on Ford Town. They're going to go for it. They run for it. A chain. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. And I am not sure, partner, there what the mindset was to go for. I don't know. And some teachers feel that possession is the key to everything. They just want to have the football in their hands. No matter how it goes to the other team, they just don't trust doing that. So they say, listen, go for it and try and finish it ourselves. Entering play call, coach suggestions. There are seven categories. Ready. 
They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. Entering play on any passes in the middle of the field, anyone is going out to the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Second and ten. to throw again. Huntley. They set up the screen to Hill. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. Oh, this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Here we go, Jack! On second down, here's Huntley. A dump off now to Hill. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. I know it was a game, but you have to sense kind of a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Third down, here's Huntley now. And this pass broken up. But the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Well, no one likes to see that drop. I guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him any time he has open space. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Ravens go for it but come up empty. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged Andrew here, Inkley they ball. can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Getting in there for the tackle, Marcus Williams. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? Uh, I think so. Three away from that century mark. Got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. Back to A-Chain on second down. And they'll get this down to the 10. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. I know they have wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. There's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. And 
They'll run here with A-Chain. And he's going to bowl his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. Devon A-Chain with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Dolphins continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And the Ravens taking the field. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round and hanging by a thread, if that, as they begin here with a first and 10 on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Here's Huntley. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A great job there, Charles, just to hold on, absorb that contact. I guess that's the risk you take catching the ball toward the middle of the field. It is, and if you're going to gain yardage, you're going to have to go there at some point. But how about the read, okay? The eyes of that play, stepping out from the middle of the field and really Jack, making a big hit. Jack, Jack, Didn't knock it free, Jack, Jack, but boy, go, that's a go. tough area to go into when you're going into his spot. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise Injury with the way that this one has gone Coach and the frustration of body language is evident calories. everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Alert! Alert. Roll, roll. Out of the gun, Huntley. And that's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanking in the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Categories. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going go for now. it. Reno, Reno. They're going for it. Huntley. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, that's what you do, apparently, when you try to take on a pro goal quarterback. And what a play there to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good. But we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. Entering play ball, coach suggestions. There are nine categories. And Sanders now to add the extra point. Increase their lead to 28. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Entering play call, special teams. You have six options. Kickoff Keith left is selected. Jake 
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Throwing after the interception, Huntley. And this one too low. I think this is what this game's become now. It just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Hundley looks to throw. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, they're able to keep leverage, they're able to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. Huntley. And that is incomplete. Well, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw. And they're under 200 yards passing for the game. So they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them, holding them under 200 today. Fourth down, Huntley. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Ravens first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. But give them credit. They're going to stay and fight this out to the end. Fourth down, you've got to go for it. And they not only convert, but pick up some good yardage as well. So the big play gets him across midfield now play. for first hey, and hey. ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this Entering defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Check, check. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. It's caught by Aguilar. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 16. A very solid gain of 27. With this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. He will push his way down to about the 14. Jerome Baker there on the tackle. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's a second and eight. Here's Huntley. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that, as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. Call it a gain of six on the play. And now that sets up third and two. There are seven categories. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. 
Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, Entering they said all. no more. They sought the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. The field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. Here we go, here we go. Alert, alert. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And trying to push his way forward, but I think he's going to be short. And he is short. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The Dolphins ready to take over on offense. And it would appear that that first round bye certainly helped. They've looked fresh from the start and no letdown here as they lead big Strum. in this divisional round and they look to book a spot Bills. in the conference Ponte championship. AHB stretch. Ponte Fred. AHB stretch. And this drive will begin with a run from A-Chain. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys... They've got it going today. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Uh, again, it's A-Chain. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. I've got an idea. Let's get Entering racing to the airport again in this game. Let's go get a post game press stuff. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to give a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. First and ten, Taylor now. And some space here. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Greg, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about to run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. And they have secured a spot in the conference championship. And now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future. So that'll Entering do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.